your research interests should really flow from what you've done and sort of have this sort of trajectory going forward. So it makes sense of what you're actually doing. And the quickest way to sort of get you know, an edge on 95% of the people, and I wish I would have known this um, many years before, it's just read a couple of articles of the people that you're going to be talking to, and then you're going to have a sense of what they're actually interested in. And you can speak to that, and you can actually talk to them and have a conversation about those particular interesting things that they're working on, right? So maybe somebody has done research on, um, you know, risk and how people perceive risk. You read a couple of their articles and you say, well, you know, I re read your articles, but I didn't necessarily agree with some of these ways in terms of how people perceive risk. And there's this kind of interesting scenario where I didn't perceive it that way and I would have thought it was different, right? So we have decision-making models um, that are, are readily used, but they are v vastly not very good um, in the sense that we, we can always use improvement of these decision-making models and people have done some really amazing uh, new models you know the the one that comes to mind right now is the factuation um, where it is uh, Sarah's fat Sarah's fatty and I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong um, but she was talking about entrepreneurship and you know how we do decisions in entrepreneurship look completely different than how we do decisions in, in sort of quote-unquote that we thought decisions were actually being done and she developed this amazing theory that is totally different than what other people sort of view with um, decision making. And that has been very helpful. And I think it's going to make a huge impact once it starts really taking on because it is totally different from whatever other people are doing. It's already made a big, very big impact. Um, but I think it's going to make an even bigger impact in decision making, for example, because it is such a, I think it's more real. Uh, in terms of decision making than the, the, the models of decision making that we traditionally have. So that's the thing with doing the, you know, what are your research interests? I personally am looking for people that have actually read my stuff and they can speak to that and they can say, you know, I really liked what you've done, but I think we can improve this here. And it's really targeted, it's really specific, and it's gonna really help you out with your interviews. And that's gonna really, really do a good job. And it's gonna um, resonate with the people that you're that are interviewing you, and they're gonna be like, oh my God, this person is amazing because they've read my work and they can actually carry on a conversation about the thing that they're doing. Um, and, and, and we can sort of build on this, and I'm gonna be super excited. And so I encourage you to do that. That's gonna get you, you're going to be 95% better than everybody else that ever does an interview if you've actually read the work that somebody's actually written. Um, I guarantee it. And it's just going to get you so far into the door and you're just going to benefit from this so much.